I live in Canada where it is cold AF in the wintertime. I am telling you, you walk outside, you can't breathe because it's so cold, your nostrils freeze instantly. So if you need me, I will be inside sipping on all of the frothy drinks, including this healthy hot chocolate. Hey guys, it's Katie Stewart, registered holistic nutritionist. Now, when I was a kid living in Canada, all we would be doing was tobogganing, making snowmen, snow forts, and I have three brothers, so we were literally outside all the time. But as soon as we came in, the first thing we did would be making a hot chocolate. Now, before we used to use that fake hot chocolate mix with you know, the fake marshmallows in it, full of sugars, full of unnatural ingredients, artificial flavoring, yeah, so this one, way better, way more delicious and full of nutrients and wonderful deliciousness. So the first thing we're gonna be adding is of course some chocolate and the chocolate is coming in a form of raw cacao. So raw cacao is actually different than cocoa powder because it hasn't been processed or heated. So that way it retains all of its beneficial nutrients and enzymes and particularly its antioxidants. So this is a rich source of antioxidants and we know that antioxidants fight free radicals in the body that promote disease and aging and hint this is also amazing for your skin so yes I am telling you to have more healthy chocolate to live longer healthier life amazing right and then next up we're gonna be sweetening it sweetening it with just a couple medjool dates so medjool dates are those like fat rich plump juicy looking dates that have pits in them so take the pits out I've done that before that's a mistake in the dates and if you don't have dates on hand you can be using raw honey maple syrup or if you're diabetic try monk fruit or stevia so we got that in there we're gonna be putting in a splash of vanilla this really boosts the creaminess factor and who doesn't love vanilla and please make sure you are getting a pure real vanilla none of this artificial stuff makes a big difference and then last up is I like to supercharge my hot chocolate by adding in a little bit of MCT powder. So MCT powder, the same thing as the oil, except it's in a powdered form. So I love adding this in because MCT stands for, any guesses? Medium chain triglycerides. And this is a specific type of fat that your body is able to easily absorb and quickly convert it to energy. So this is a great way to be boosting that brain function or having a lot of energy and just a boost of endurance. I love that it also keeps you feeling fuller for longer because it is a healthy fat. So we're gonna be adding that in there. And I actually got this from Caforia Canada. So if you were interested in learning more about that, I actually popped it in the caption below. Okay, all of the things except we are missing some hot milk. So I am just going to be using a little bit of hot coconut milk. You can be using almond, cashew, macadamia, hemp, whatever your heart desires. And I just warm this up on the stove because I don't actually own a microwave. I prefer to have everything warmed up on the stove top. It only took me like a minute or two to warm it up. And the next up, we're going to be popping that blender lid on. All right. And now the reason why I use a blender for this in most of my frothy drink recipes is because it makes it so super frothy. But let's say you don't have a blender on hand, you can be using an immersion blender, a whisk, or just a good old fork. You just have to do a really good job at it. So there you go guys, a healthy, creamy, delicious hot chocolate with an amazing amount of froth. So to grab the exact measurements and the ingredients used, just look below and I'll see you guys later.